It has been two weeks since the helicopter crash in New York City's East River that killed five people, including two best friends from Dallas. Trevor Cadigan, a member of our own family here at WFAA, and his friend, Dallas firefighter Brian McDaniel. Today at their old high school, Bishop Lynch, hundreds gathered for a celebration of their lives and a painful final goodbye. Our Kevin Reese was there. How do you honor two bright young lives lost? The Dallas Fire Department starts with the ladder truck at the entrance to Bishop Lynch High School for Brian McDaniel. Trevor Cadigan's friends parked his beloved red Jeep next to it on the school sidewalk, his ever-present cowboy boots on the front bumper. Inside the gymnasium where eight years ago they were both their own versions of big men on campus, tears and laughter with the best friends on video were the order of the day. Good afternoon and welcome to Bishop Lynch High School. From a crowd of friends and family sitting next to this, touchstones and tangible pieces of the lives and dreams they were each chasing. Brian McDaniel's Dallas firefighting gear, Trevor Cadigan's pictures and the cameras of a young journalist, and this picture, the one they took together on the East River the day before the fatal crash. There is a reason for everything, but remember, Coach, God needs good people in his army, too. Their former football coach tried to provide comfort. I've never been so proud. And friends fought through tears to talk about the most loyal of best friends. Times like these are not easy. Whose laughter could fill every room. Sorry. I knew that he was going to be one hell of a man and one hell of a fireman. I plan to live life to the fullest as Brian did. I love you, Brian. Rest in peace, my brother. God, you got a good one. He's going to drive you crazy. But trust me, you'll love him nonetheless. I'll always miss his big red Jeep sitting out in front of my house for days on end. I'll miss the laughter he brought to every room he entered. Jason McDaniel honored his brother, the man with the biggest heart he knew. And I hope that you all can keep the memories that you have of Brian and Trevor close to your hearts. And they will be terribly missed and forever loved. And then Trevor Cadigan's big sister, his only sibling. My funny, outgoing, hyper, and sometimes very annoying little brother. Kathleen Cadigan Howard sibling, shared everything so she will miss her about her brother, the annoyances, and his goofy, infectious smile. But most of all, I'll just miss you. I'll miss everything about you every second for the rest of my life. But I take comfort knowing that this is not goodbye to you, little brother because I know it's just time for you to hit the old Dusty. It's just see you later. Comfort, all of you see you later, after a sudden unthinkable tragedy and comforted only by the gift and the memories of two best friends for an all too short 26 years. In Dallas, Kevin Reese, Channel 8 News.